Hey folks, we're up here for another camp walkthrough. We're at Wanzatika Lake with Hearst Air. And this is uh, late September, and this is getaway day for us. So I thought I'd show you a little look around. So this is the cabin. The cabin itself, really well appointed. There's no power or running water or generator here, but you'll see here they've supplied uh, three different propane um, lanterns and all the fuel you could need. You got stove that's propane, you got fridge that's propane, you got airtight wood stove, there was lots of wood on site, and then in the back we've got two bedrooms that are set with three beds each as well as two cots, so this place could easily sleep four, and I think the cabin itself is large enough that it could sleep four as well. We'll give you a little tour of the outside in a second, but this is a walleye pike and perch lake, uh, we caught lots of walleye, we caught a few uh, pike and just a handful of perch, but walleye is what we are after. You're going to find that Hearst Air is really easy to deal with, and the location of this particular camp is exceptional. Why don't we have a look outside? Folks, so we're outside the camp at Wanzatika, and this is probably our favorite camp location we've been to. So you can see we're elevated and there's lots of rock. So if we look out onto the water, you can see just a spectacular view. So you get beautiful sunrises. You've got the fire pit here if you want to have a campfire and a picnic table. And then you can see just down here, we have our dock where we had uh, our 14 foot Nadens, nine nine motors on them. We only used one, worked flawlessly, tons of gas available. See beautiful vistas and then just uh, this way then, right, there's your cabin, right? So you're nestled in again on the rock, looking out over the beautiful lake and then the outhouse is in behind, nothing exciting there. So if you're looking for some pretty easy fishing and you're looking for good numbers of fish, I think Wanzatika could be on your list. Why don't you give Mel at Hearst Air a call? If you have any questions about this lake or any lake that we fished, just give me a shout at scott at canadianfisherman.ca.